Um, Armagan, a uh, question for you. Um, now, you're, you're the chief internal auditor in one of the largest banks in Pakistan. Now, uh, the, inter the internal audit process um, that we have in banks and the background that the internal audit comes and is, you know, the internal audit of the entire bank. So, how can internal audit actually be made useful as a value addition for the bank? You know, this is always a question that everybody asks. I remember I was in IT and we used to ask this question. And, and the second part of the question is that how can we improve the GRC competencies in all the departments around us? Sure. Uh, so thank you for the question. I think it's a very topical question uh, and very timely question. Uh, generally, as sitting in the third line, we get asked the question, is the bank secure enough? Are we doing enough as far as controls and everything is concerned? Now the realization uh, which has to happen and the awareness and the maturity in the organization needs to come to a stage where we realize uh, that the ecosystem, the financial risk ecosystem has drastically changed. So no more are the times where we plan an audit at the start of the year which we are doing right now for the next year and sit back and then wait for audit to take place and give management the feedback, oh this went wrong in the past, right? So those times are over. So few design principles, which uh, if, if in the context of this discussion, if I was to socialize uh, very clearly, first of all, audit has to redefine itself uh, broadly and specifically for this topic. How do we achieve it? A is, yes, accountants still have a very important role to play, uh, chartered accountants and, and you know, MBAs, but we need subject matter experts. Okay? We need people who can go in and audit compliance, who can know the mantises of the world, who can understand the, the, the Ficrosofts, who can challenge the rules or, or the algorithms which are being set up. B, we need people who understand cyber risk, people who can understand, have been part of the security regime. For us to go in as, as a kind of more like a layman trying to understand the process, it's not gonna add value. So the fundamental rule is, there is a big shift on the people side. We have been listening since morning, that people vacuum here, people skill deficiency. Yes, it's, it's a, let's be honest about it. We don't have the right skill set as subject matter experts to make a difference while sitting in third line. Second part of the design principle which audit function has to stick and abide by is being dynamic. What I mean by that is, Ke aap, uh, again, agar incident fluctuate, incident hua, koi fluctuation hui, kehin pe koi bhi event hua. So if that weekend, that very, uh, you know, uh, one very significant weekend which happened in our banking industry a few weeks ago, if audit wasn't alive on the day, and if you're just going to go and audit back in three or four weeks time, so it's not gonna be helpful. So we have to link up and be interconnected with the, with the rest of the organization and that might be second line and that might be, should be the first line as well. Third part, which is consulting ka part, this uh, is a radical idea because uh, uh, auditing standards talk about 10% or 20% of consulting but I think we have to appreciate and give more support to the consulting space which audit can bring about. So we are talking about system implementation, we are, t we are talking about here when an incident occurs Right? What is the re response? What is the reaction? So, in, in the new world order, ye to hoga nahi ki incidents na ho. Theek hai? So, in the new world order, A, incidents honge. The most important part is how, as an organization, we react to it. How, as an organization, how, as an audit, we are able to help the second line react to those uh, events, uh, learn lessons learned, and implement those changes. So, there is a big piece. So for me, if as a CIA, uh, I think uh, if I was to run my audit function as a typical old audit house, uh, I would not be relevant anymore. I have to redefine uh, the organization. I have to create the right IT pillars in my team, right <coughs> subject matter experts, and then only be, I'll be relevant to support uh, the businesses. Because is, is ke bagair, there is honestly, uh, we would not be, we would not stay relevant and we would not be able to add uh, value to the process. Great, wonderful. Thank you so much for that.